What's up everyone, Janitor Jake here. Now see, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Now, this type of video I am not going to be uploading to YouTube all the time, if ever again. These type of videos that I'm making here are going to be Patreon exclusive videos. However, a lot of my fan base out there might not actually know that I have a Patreon channel. So, of course, I figured I would do something like this, throw it up there so my old school fans out there will be like, holy smoke in a handbasket, he has a Patreon. And for only a dollar a month, you can go and get more videos like this over in good old Patreon land. So, with all the advertising hickory dickory dock out of the way, let's get going, shall we? All right, so today I am going to be attempting a repair on the ColecoVision expansion module number two. Uh, this is basically an expansion port for the ColecoVision. Now, for those that don't know, the ColecoVision was a video game console that came out in August of 1982. And one of the launch titles for the console was a game called Turbo. And in order to play Turbo, it required you having the expansion module number two. And so yesterday, while I was actually trying to play Turbo, I hooked all this up and could not get it to work. This does require C batteries, and I put the C batteries in and the whole nine yards, and the video game was not responding to any of the controls. I did, however, get it to respond when I flipped it upside down and started messing around. Then the controls kind of sort of started to get more responsive. However, I still wasn't getting anything out of this. And so my main goal today is to try to repair this thing. I don't know if I'll be able to actually do it, but the goal is to actually try to get this thing repaired and hopefully up to snuff and working. Um, I'm going to check some of these connections, like right here, it looked like somebody already did some soldering work. And it looked like they did some soldering work on this end as well. So I'm going to be taking this stuff apart, checking that out, and hopefully, like I said, we can get this thing up and running. And so without further ado, let's change up the camera angle, shall we? Alright, so here we are, a close-up shot of the ColecoVision expansion module number two. And so uh, I, of course, need to get this thing apart. And so looking at the back... It looks like we have one, two, three, four screws. And it looked like somebody had already tried taking a screw out of there. And then we got a screw in there. And then of course here is the battery slot for C batteries. And look at this, this is the kind of nonsense I'm talking, like you should just be able to easily pull that out. And it's like you can't do it. It's like everything is like stuck. Everything just gets stuck, and then like you end up busting like the little clips off. I hate that kind of garbage. And then it looks like we have one screw in there as well. And the problem with a lot of these screws is they're way down in there. So hopefully, I should have a screwdriver long enough. And it looks like I might even have to do maybe a little bit of like simple mod stuff too. Like right here you got these little pads and stuff. But that one's missing a pad and so I might have to try to find another little rubber pad to stick over there. Surprisingly they're actually pretty simple to get. They're not like glued in there. So let's see if I can do this without dropping them everywhere. Alright so we got one, two, three, four out. Maybe not. So this one's still stuck in there. Okay, it looks like they all came out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, even though I don't have a magnetic tray, I do have these things that I bought for Dollar General. Cheap little one dollar uh, plastic storage tubs. These ones I haven't even opened yet. Unboxing video. Doing an unboxing video now. The only thing I don't like about these is that these things like to flop out. It's like, oh, so you can replace the gasket when it goes bad. Yeah, when the gasket goes bad in this. Alright, now let's see if I can get this popped off. We got a little bit of dust bunny, so of course we got uh, some wires here going to the battery. 
wonder if these you can just pull out. I can't tell because they're like deep in the actual plastic. And I can't tell if it's something that was soldered on. It looks like it was soldered on. So then, yeah, and that's soldered in there as well. And I don't feel like unsoldering it. Oh, well, no. Wait a minute. Yeah, so that was that screw holding that in. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what. So this is the steering wheel. This is where I think some of the problems came into play. Because when I flipped it upside down, it was working. This must be the magnetic wheel that works with the actual game. And I think this was the part that was screwing up. Because when I flipped it upside down, it was acting like it was making a connection and actually working. But now this. And so I'm wondering if it has to do with this. This is the only thing that I hate. I wish there was a way you could just go pop, pop, and then get this out of the way. But everything is like tied in here. All right. So that's the controller stuff. In order to do this, I would just have to unsolder that. I just have to know that blue goes at the top and red goes on the bottom. All right. That would be the only way of getting rid of this. Blue at the top red on the bottom. Red's positive and blue is a negative. And I just gotta make sure not to connect the traces together. So I'm gonna get my soldering iron set up here and I'm gonna unsolder that stupid thing and so it'll make it a lot easier for me to work with. So I'll be right back. Alright so I got my soldering gun and all this stuff set up and got my desoldering gun or my solder sucker so we can suck out the old solder. And let's get to going shall we? Because like I said, this thing is just going to be getting in the way constantly. So I need to desolder this. It's like if I only had somebody else holding this to get it out of my way. So I could get in here. So we're going to get this ready. There goes number one. And here goes number two. Okay. Try to get that pulled out of there. Heck. Jeez. All right. So we got this taken care of. This can get cleaned up and moved out of the way. And wiped down in the whole nine yards. It is nice because you can't really see on here, but it does say positive and negative. I'd have to zoom this in, but then like if... I, all of a sudden I start zooming stuff in and then I start working and next thing you know I'm pulling it out of the way. But it does say positive and negative, so. And usually red is always positive, red is right. Black is left, black is negative, whatever. And this is red and blue, so there we go. Now I'm just making sure that it is cleaned up. I should take my sponge, wipe that garbage out of the way. Because what you don't want to do is create a contact between the two traces. I should grab my rag. What's that thing? Alright, now I am not going to be desoldering this to get this out of the way because that's going to be a lot of dinking around trying to resolder all that junk back into place. So, how does this work? Yeah, and it, like I said, it looked like somebody had already gotten torn into this. Because somebody had already poked a hole in there and tried taking the screw out. So, obviously this has been acting up before. And they did not do a good job fixing it, and hopefully I can do a good job fixing it. But we'll see. This whole board feels kind of loose. These wires are running under there, so... Feels like that board can come out, too. Because that's what it should be. 
the screws in here should be holding this nice and tight to this thing. And I almost wonder if maybe the screw just wasn't tight enough. I don't know. So this should just pop off. And there we go. What is this for? Oh, this is the power supply. Oh no, that's not the power supply. This is for the um, the pedal. So the gas pedal plugs into there. And I don't think this is... I'll have to check that out. Alright, so gas pedal comes in. So this is what I was thinking. Like This piece needs to get pinched in to hold onto this wheel. Maybe this wheel needs to get cleaned. It's like it wasn't making a very good connection. But even the wheel itself is loose, and I don't like that. And I don't want to take the sticker off, but I'm probably going to have to. Darn it. It looks like somebody... Yeah, somebody actually tried taking these little screws out. I'll try to zoom in. If you look on here, there's these little screws. But these are fake screws. They're not real. These are not real screws. And it looked like somebody had actually tried to take the screw off to get the wheel off. There's a screw in there. There we go. feels like somebody had been stripping this though because it's kind of a pain in the butt oh, I'll have to, uh, I don't want to I don't like replacing stuff because it's like it's pretty cool that it's the original screws and stuff in here but it's like oh man if this thing is getting stripped how long is this thing I hate that too when the screws are like 15 feet long So there's the ColecoVision steering wheel. Okay, so so this is the magnetic magnet piece. So that goes on there. And that will get lined up. Wow, that's a lot of dust. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but there's a whole bunch of dust that came blowing off that thing. And these, of course, I don't want to rip or ruin. So, I'm gonna grab this, and I don't use a lot of this, but this has been great for cleaning video games and stuff for me, so. Do a little bit, and then rub that in. Maybe it'll make the contacts better too. You can definitely see there's been some wear on this disc. Right here in the middle you can see where it's a lot lighter. I hate when that stuff starts running out. Now I gotta grab another can of that. See if this is any better. These are almost out too. Spiders have been making making their home inside here. See, and what I would love to do is unsolder all this, take the stuff out, and just like go and blast this under hot water. Get some hot soapy water, scrub it out, clean it up. But uh, I don't want to be doing a bunch of weird unsoldering stuff. And I don't want to mess with this and then break. I guess it wouldn't matter. If I broke it, I could always resolder it. Well, black is going over to the left and red is going to the right. See, I wish this was more like a... Some people call it like a socket. Like something where you could just like plug. Just plug it in, plug it out, take it out. See if we can put the steering wheel thing back. 
Alright, so this looks like it goes in like this. Because if you look, it goes one, two. Because if you look, there's one, two, three, four, five. And there's one, two, three, four, five lined up on there. The heck? But for some weird reason, it's not lining up. There we go. Stop that because now you're popping out. See, I wonder if that was what the problem was, was this thing kept, like, popping out. I can get that to stay put. Oh, there goes the sticker. Holy smoke. All right, well, at least the sticker's out now, so it makes it easier for me to see. Okay. Well, that definitely feels a lot tighter in there now. Yeah, that's not, doesn't feel like it's flopping around as much as it was before. I was wondering why that was off. I was like, something doesn't feel right. I am a complete idiot. That doesn't go like that, it goes like this. Oh my gosh. So this has got to come off again. This would go in like that. But I need to make sure that this is nice and tight. So this... This is going to be irritating because now I have to like lift the, keep this nice and solid, lift this up, pop that into here, and get the steering wheel back on, but at the same time not having this come loose, well we'll try it, I'll just try putting the steering wheel on first. Get it, get it nice and snug. Okay, and now this. Hopefully, I can do this without breaking anything. Go like that. Get you lined up. I'm hoping... I'm hoping this will work. What I'm hoping is I can get this back in and get that screw back in and make it nice and tight because it still doesn't feel like it's super tight. It's still kind of loosey-goosey, like all this flopping around. Unless I just really need to screw this down even more and I don't want to because it's not really going anymore it just feels really loose in there darn it all right so now time to get those pieces soldered back in remember red goes to plus and blue goes to minus so we'll do that Now that I got that in there, try to get this standing up so it doesn't flip around, and then I'll get that soldered. So 
want to make sure that it's not going to be touching anything stupid. Looks like I need to get something to like tilt it this way for me. Dag nabbit. Can't see anything either now because I'm blocking the light. Let's see how bad of a job that is. Okay. Just want to scrape just in case. Make sure there's no contacts. Make sure I'm not connecting plus to minus. And then another quick way of like, if you have a bunch of hot solder, flip one of these things upside down and just if you have enough air in there you can flip these things upside down and blast the actual coolant onto it but that one's running out alright so I think I got everything that's yeah, that's terrible. It looked like somebody had already come in here and started doing some soldering work on this, too. Now, that seems like it's good, so we will put you back. And it looked like somebody had been, like, prying on this thing, too. There's, like, all these nicks and stuff going on. So this is irritating, because th there we go. All right, so looks like that is good to go. So I'm going to grab that one screw. Because like I said, there wasn't anything like, nothing was flopping around in there, broke loose. You know, it wasn't like there was a screw missing or something weird. It was just, see that. I don't like that. But there's like nothing I could do about that. But yeah, like if this is good and solid, like it should be stiff in there and then turning, not loosey-goosey like that. And I don't understand why. It's all that crappy plastic stuff. It's like, okay, I snapped all the plastic in and it's like, okay, we're still loose. The heck? Alright, so for now, that thing is done. Now, and now I'm going to take a peep see over at this pedal. There's like some springs in here. I know I don't necessarily want to take those out because then stuff will be flopping all over the place. But I want to look at this to see what's going on in here. Because when I did flip it upside down and tried using the pedal, it was not responding at all. So that was telling me there's no connection being made. All right, so that just, yeah, that just looks like it was like burnt or something, like something got touched on something hot and just kind of exposed the wires, but they're not touching each other. They're not, I don't know. I can't tell if like if they're connected or not. Well, one way of trying it, I could get my uh, reader out and see if there's continuity. All right, so one way of checking to see if things like that are broken. So right now, this is a perfect wire, and this is a perfect wire. And I have it set to the ohm, so if I touch them, the needle goes up. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but if you touch them, the needle goes up. That means that there's a connection. That means that... Uh, there's no blockage. So for example, if I cut, if I unplug this and then try touching them, nothing's going to happen. Alright, so the way this should work then is this is a TS connector. 3.5 millimeter jack or some people call it a uh, eighth inch jack. And they're, they have different names. There's the TS, which is tip and sleeve, TRS, tip, ring and sleeve, and then TRRS, tip, ring, ring, sleeve. Uh, this is pretty basic, so we got the tip and the sleeve. So I am not getting a reading at all, so that means somewhere in here is a busted wire, and so now I have to solder this thing. Look at all this. 
this exposed wire everywhere. And so I'm hoping that it's on the outside, so I'm hoping I can just go like snip, snip, re-solder, and not have to dink around going into here. And I'm hoping it's not busted in here, because that would be annoying. Now, one thing I wish I did have, and I don't have, darn it, is um, shrink tubing. But, all right, so I'm going to cut this, because this is where the wires are exposed. So I'm going to find where they're not exposed. We're just going to snip it right there. Okay. Alright, so this is pretty Jimmy Riggy shoddy. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this off right here and just get rid of this. Because this is all exposed nonsense. And now, I need to split these out. And I can't just go in there and grab it, so I'm going to have to cut this. This is why I wish I had a different tool for this, but I don't. Dag nab it. So we cut in there a little bit and see if that's enough. To get the shielding opened up here. There we go. Okay. Just to make sure that everything is Oh, I see where it is. It's all, this part is shot. So right in here, this is all messed up. So I am going to have to take this thing out. <sighs> well, fine. Before I do any of that, I guess I should have looked there to begin with. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, you can really feel that spring pushing really hard against me right now. I'm going to be real careful here. Let me see here. So the one with the stripe is going to the pedal and the one going without the stripe is going here. I, I don't know. This... Yeah, I'm going to have to replace like this whole wire set thingamabob doohickey. I hate, I hate when they put these kind of things on here because it's not like you can just like take a screwdriver and pop that piece off. You can't do it. And so I'm going to have to like cut this whole section out. So I'm going to do this. And snip right here. Wish I had helping hands here. Okay, so now white is gonna go the white stripe. Ouch. Are you hot or what? Come on. Now, just to be sure that there's actual continuity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one up. And now I'm going to take the red, put it onto here, then black onto here, 
and there's continuity so there's no nonsense with this wire so that's good all right so I got that screwed in I got that screwed in so now we're gonna check the continuity between the one without the white line come here and then this and there's continuity between there so looks like that is good to go now I need to screw it into this TS connector this is where it's gonna be kind of a pain because I not a lot of space to work with here so if you look at this one of these has a white line painted on it one's got a white line so you can tell like the, I'm gonna say the one with the white line is hot and the other one is cold so on here there should be one with a white line but none of these have a white line on it I didn't even notice that I see it might be the white line and I think it's this one so we're gonna take some guessing here and if I just had like a big box of extra TS connectors I would just replace the stupid thing but and that's what's funny you could just take a regular headphone cable as long as it's just got the the tip and the sleeve you can just take a regular headphone one with the tip and the sleeve and just do this because you can't do it with the extra stuff like a TRRS you would have to ground uh, ground out the other connectors okay so now I'm gonna see I don't know which one is the tip and which one is the sleeve so we're gonna touch the tip and see okay so the one with the white is the tip I'm hoping so I was kind of correct I was thinking hopefully that would be hot and I'm hoping the tip is the hot I don't know and then this should be ground but that's weird because isn't that one ground so maybe these need to be swapped because if this is ground that's the tip So maybe these need to be swapped then. Because if, if I touch the sleeve and then touch this, I get nothing. But if I touch the tip and touch that, then I'm getting something. So it's almost like the hot is tied into there. So, Okay. And now the sleeve should not be going to here. It should be going to here. Why, why aren't you doing that? Come on now. What? Now why isn't it working? It's because you switch, switched them. So now there's no continuity, okay? Well, that works. So touching it from the exposed wires to there works, but if I touch it to the sleeve, it's not working. So there's a disconnect. Now that wire got disconnected in there. All right, so it looks like there's a bad connection going on inside the actual TRS connector itself. Holy smoke. So basically there's nothing else I can do. Because if I, I'd have to take this off, and like I said, it's not something simple. Like, oh, let's just unscrew it and pop it out. So now I need to find another connector. Oh, for crying out loud. Because now, like I said, now i got to somehow cut all this junk off and get to the actual connector inside there. I think I need to replace this piece, which is trash. Yeah, there we go. So <laughs> there was no connection going to the sleeve, I believe. Well, that's the sleeve. So, okay. So, well, there you go. So there's the sleeve. 
That was connected to the sleeve, and that tip right there is the ring. So uh, we're going to do it like this. So which one is which? And it should just be simple like that. That's all it should have to do. But then I go to touch it, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, I'm going to come off now. This is a really, 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 really bad soldering job, but I just want to, like, I'm sick and tired of this. And the thing that really ticks me off is it's probably still not going to work. Make sure there's no connections. Oh, you're actually connecting. There's actually continuity going on. Okay, and there's nothing there, so if I go... Oh, it works? Lo and behold, it works. No way. Well, looks like I got it connected now. So that's good, even though that is a really, really poo-poo, terrible, terrible, terrible job. Just the soldering, just everything in general is garbage. Now, I usually do a really good job at soldering, but that's when I'm working at the radio station, I do it in the engineer office, and I have all the tools lined out, this nice table, the helping hands, and I got the, uh, the magnifying glass, but this is just me dealing with uh, nonsense here at the house. So, and I don't have the tools that I need. And like right now, I'm looking for the tape. Right here in front of my face. Is the tip still got continuity? Yes. All right, time to put this back together then. I mean, it should work. That's the thing, it really should work. But like I said, the main issue is I don't know how the steering wheel will actually work because it just feels really loosey-goosey. Okay. So this should be good now. Alright, so I guess now I'm just going to go and test it out and see how it works.